you, Robert. As a uh, researcher of religious anti-slavery movement in the United States of America, I have come to realize that we are all bound, if we are human beings, we are all bound to those who are in bonds. And many of you know that the professor of Catholic theology, theology Dr. Hans Kuhn, has reaffirmed the basis for which Ray has spoken. And he, in his declaration towards a global ethic, I hope most of you know something about that, but he has declared that there can be no new global order without a global ethic. And he has done his best in 1993 to make that declaration for a global ethic. And amongst that he affirms very clearly that there is a fundamental demand that every human being be treated humanely. He also claims there needs to be a transformation of consciousness. Now, we are gathered here because we recognize that uh, when we can reach out and learn to see how another experiences the world, we can expand our own sense of freedom and be free to overcome the barriers that all of us face. Yesterday, uh, there was a sparrow that flew into the back door of our garage. Saw a window and a bright sun coming through the window. And it flew over there. And I came out and I saw that he was furiously fluttering to get through the glass. And I tried to help him to deter him so he could fly away. But he insisted by and resisted. He was going through the light, going toward the light, incessantly. I finally had to get a piece of uh, paper, it's actually a dark piece of paper, it's a paper bag, and I had to slide that paper bag between him and the glass window. He could not see where he was going. He had to turn his face, and he saw the light of the double door of the rock and flew free into another greater light than the one he was in. And so we gather here tonight uh, to uh, greet and welcome one who we have invited to come to tell us the story of his people in Sri Lanka. He is a graduate of Peradeniya University in Sri Lanka, but then he had the opportunity to buy a beacon of freedom when he came to the United States and studied at the University of Maryland. He used to live in Newton, Maryland. Oh, you did too? Yeah. Uh, we were there in that we'll talk about that later. We were there in the And so in so doing, he was able to escape most of the terrible devastation and the oppression of all those people bound, especially the Kamau people that he comes from. And he was able to stay here and, and to work here. And we're inviting him to tell this story so that we who are really representing the international community may begin to turn our heads and see a more universal light, to see more clearly the plight of the people of Sri Lanka, and hopefully to do something about it. So please welcome now Dr. Shankar Shankar Kumar.